Hello, and welcome back to another ranked Today we're playing Thor against Poseidon. I think we win this matchup pretty well because we can get out. Well, we can't get out of the Kraken combo, but we can just do a bunch of burst, and then we have a decent amount of mobility, so it's harder to track us down. Uh, sometimes you can go one point into two here and just skip the three, but I think I want just straight up uh, burst on buffs and things of that nature because we can get like a, we could have been able to get a double tap in here, and then cooldowns went up in time, and you know, blah 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 blah. This guy going defense that early it makes it way too easy for me to just smack him in the mouth. Uh, we'll just stay careful here, and then we'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, like he used all his abilities way too early on the burst, and we just had we just had one, which was level two already, so we just easy secure that. I guess a glare from the sun half damage me right now. I am not happy about it. Minions, mess him up. Uh, the fact that he went breastplate just so much pressure he relieves. I don't know why he's going breastplate this early. I honestly don't know why he's contesting this either. Uh, he's listening out on a whole minion wave worth of gold coming over here to contest this. And he knows that I, uh, I have enough pressure to keep him out. We can take a couple of those autos to get some mana regen here. He used his ability again. Strange. He got lucky there, he got bailed out. Uh, I don't think we're doing enough damage, I'm just gonna look out. He got bailed out by the fact that stun, like his uh, mannequins came through as a stun proc. Because he would have had no secure otherwise. Uh, I have enough to one this, so we're trying. And he doesn't have all, so I'm gonna stay. And just finish up this wave. I know he has AOV autos, but we should be fine. And we hit 5 before him. I know it doesn't really matter because we don't have mana in there. But we might be able to burn our sanks right here because he, he was able to secure blue buff. Yeah, he might. This would be terrible if he burns it. But the only way he burns it is with the Kraken, though. Yeah. <coughs> he makes the right to my brain. If he does, I evolved. I'm not absolutely brain dead. I think I have to be at least at this corner to ult my blue. Not exactly sure of the range, but... I knew he'd be coming. That's his shell burned. He's dead without the shell, so that's fine. I was really greedy for him to take my blue, especially knowing that I have Thor. Like, it's super easy to get over there. Uh, we burned his shell, which is fine in all scenarios. He has to back and miss out on a whole wave that goes to tower. Like, yeah, he secures my blue fine, but there's way too many positives that come my way after he secures the blue as well. You know, I get these minions in bag, just a mana reset. I'm not sure, maybe if I alt uh, like a tiny bit sooner, I could stop him from getting blue, but I don't know. I think it's like super thin margins. Because like if I start arguing like, oh, this should happen, this should happen, then like, you know, you're just in a world of what ifs. The only reason we're down a little bit of XP is due to the fact that he's already cleared this way, and buffs give a good amount of XP. Alright. The fact that he has mobility though is quite annoying. That's cracking down. You know what the backside? Nice. Uh, double tap kills him, so he needs to be careful. If we hit double tap, he dies. He has no secure over this buff, and he used two already. I'm just looking to kill him or not to scare the buff anymore. Yeah. Like, uh, if I get that buff, nice, but I think it's smart for me to just focus on killing him. Because if we get, like, let's say he steals the red and then he gets out, it's like a worse scenario, so we just need to secure one or the other, right? And then if we get the second one, it's super nice. Uh, we don't have enough mana to stick around. He's just on my back, this guy's lame. You can see the attempt when he's just WTing you like that. I can pop blue uh, mana pod here. We should be able to secure it before he comes over, actually. Yeah, we'll see you. I'm gonna alt out. I don't know if he has Kraken, so... Oh, I suck. Try to get greedy. See ya! <laughs> he has Kraken, by the way, so I'm just gonna get out as quick as possible. Kraken just came up, so... What are the... Uh, I can't one wave is the problem. I was gonna say, what are the odds I can clear this wave, but I can't one wave because he has Kraken. All he has to do is send me with Kraken and I think I die. There. Yeah, there it 
this one. There it is. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should just teleport to, uh... Just teleport to, uh... What the heck is it called? Just teleport to Hammer. But I think I'm dead anyway. I think that's a scenario where I should just back and just let him take tower. Because I think anytime I stick around there, we're just dead. Alright, I had to check my blue. I had to make sure he wasn't here. Uh, he probably definitely just back. Oh, I could have picked... Uh, I thought I timed that like perfectly, so I picked up the blue as teleport happened, but it's a little aggressive on my part, I guess. Uh, obviously, as soon as Kraken goes down, we're in a plus spot to fight him. Because Kraken is majority of his burst. And uh, we definitely just don't want to fight him into those autos either. My blue's down. I assume he knows that. Like, I came out of spawn. So, the most likely scenario is that blues are down. He should have respect, huh? Uh, I have ult, so I don't think it's likely he's getting out. I think I can wrap around this way and we can just ult. Uh... Really? Really? That one didn't hit him? What was that run? Like three centimeters out of range? I tried to use near tower because normally people just back towards tower and I didn't want to miss completely so if I hit the backside tower I should have been able to teleport out. Yeah, I think that was just bad. As soon as I burned the shell I should have just landed somewhere else. Oh yeah, I knew I should have landed somewhere else too. Probably could have landed on minis. I know they're not up but it would have been something productive. I also didn't think I didn't think I was going to die and burning sanctuary on tower shots it is terrible. Like it's our only it's the only way to secure it's our only way to defend ourselves against Kraken. Having knockback immunity is super nice in this matchup. Because it stops him from blasting us in the face. Uh, let's see. Is my hammer sticking out of the wall? It might have been. Uh, I can't go in. It's too likely we die if I go in. Is he around that whole corner? Yeah. Cool. I can one in and kill him now. He's on red. Yeah, he made that way too easy to figure out where he was. The path thing was super... Uh, is symmetrical over there? Maybe obvious is the word I'm looking for. The path thing was just poor. Uh, obviously leaving those three minions there stinks, but I think there's more value in securing this red because it denies him farm and grants us farm. It's not always about how much farm you can get yourself, it's also about how much you can deny someone else from getting farm, so. We will take that. I'm not really sure if I needed to three that actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think one just full clears right? Uh, he's coming over this way, presumably I'm going to have to alt out here. Because I have no crack, I mean I have no... Uh, I had no one. So. He went towards my blue, I think. So I can pick up wave, which would be nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up this wave and back. Uh, if we get Kraken, it's fine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If I ult no, straight up, we're dead anyway. It's such slim margins, they're so annoying. Maybe if I just go show it defense here. I don't think I need to cool down. We have 30% already, so I'm just gonna go brothers here. I mean, uh, I was gonna go brothers here. What I meant is just I'm just gonna go full work. Some sort of defense to stop the, the bleeding, which would be really nice to get that over with. He should walk out, he should see me all thing. Ugh, that mobility is so annoying. It's like it allows me not to be able to collapse. Why did you back? I mean, yeah, I didn't hit him with one because you back, but now I just hit him flying. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, I'm not letting you just back, buddy. Oh, that almost got him. Come on. Can't give me another second there, Blue. Oh, we should be able to do the tower. Oh, nah, actually. We don't do enough burst, I don't think. 
but I will be able to clear this wave, and he has no Kraken, so... Huh. He has, like, the most cooldown you've ever seen. What? We always stun him and get out, though. And Kraken's down for free, so I'm really excited, actually. Bye-bye! See you later, alligator. He's going back to wave. My blue's definitely not up. So, but we'll be able to finish uh, Bulwark, which is super nice. Yeah, and that first... First side of defense is obviously making an impact now, but it was a mistake early because he gave up so much pressure, especially when he's playing for side. Like, your Kraken does so much more early than it does late, so you fall off a little bit. Really? I literally went around the wall. Ugh. Now I have to get out. Yeah, yeah, you're the best. Hello, yeah, yeah, this guy is cracking all day so week. Every day that ends in Y, this guy has cracked. Uh, not on those minis, punk. Yeah, that shell will save him. We have to burn that shell a little bit more. I'm not applying enough pressure, so he's not burning the shell enough. See, I'm red. I wasn't gonna line him just to be on red. I wasn't really sure where the heck he went. I didn't see him, so. Just give me that farm. And he must have just straight up backed, right? Like, there was a thought he was on his blue, but. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I hear him now. He's coming the wave, which means. Blue should be mine? I know, it's off cooldown. He did do it. Okay, he's fine. Our blue's up, we know it's up. Kraken will be up though. Need to be super careful here. I have no nothing to stop Kraken from hitting me in the face. See how he's bolting? Stupid you have to walk into Bull Demon now to get to see if someone's on it. Ah, I'm sick and tired of that crap. Why can't you just see it from a distance? Such a weird change to make. I mean I, it did look a little buggy, I guess, because you could just see things that Presumably, you shouldn't be able to see. But now we'll just make sure that his abilities are down. Just keep him out of Phoenix. But anyways, there it's fine. Don't need him in there. Mm, I suck. I was trying to wait for his movement speed to run out, but didn't have the opportunity. Thanks. Obviously that Thorns is doing a bunch of damage. I might be able to land one for the kill. It'll be interesting. Yeah, I tried. I tried so heavily. What are the odds here that he comes out of tower and we smack him? Probably not high, right? So assuming the back's just coming. Yeah. Definitely. Just ran out of range. He was just a little bit too fast. That two is seeming more and more important the more and more I see it. Really? That's a nerd. Like, woohoo, I hope you feel good about yourself. You're gonna kill me. No, 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 no. He went fire giant. There's no way he would have left the whole wave and me. So he definitely went fire. I'm gonna go stop him here. Normally I just back, but I know he's on fire, so. He shouldn't have enough burst. Uh, just kidding. I was gonna say he shouldn't have enough burst that I should should be able to walk over here no problem. Just going to back door me. There's no way he backed that fast, did he really? Huh. Wait. So oh, so he passed towards my blue and then back turn. Let's see. So that fire turn will be really good for sustain, but I don't know if it generates him as much phoenix pressure as he wants. I should be able to sustain the amount of pressure he should put on. We'll see though. What's that red timer looking like? Is it up in time? It should be up before he gets uh, He's gonna close the gap actually with movement speed. Get wrecked, noob. We're just gonna alt out. I can't get it with the Kraken at this point. Yeah, I just missed. Ooh, Kraken, nice. That's obviously super nice. We're obviously ecstatic that Kraken's down. Uh, he has the overtime sustain, so we don't want to fight this too long. We want to make the rotate to the blue and uh, contest it here. 
Just put a little bit of fear into him. Maybe hit a double tap would be really nice. And that knockback stopped us from hitting real quick. But yeah, like I said before, like I just want to hold him till Fire Giant's over. Just continue the pressure. He'll have Kraken soon, so we can't stick around too long. Yeah, and then we'll just get out here. We'll be able to back that. That stuff is running out as we speak, so... Yeah, it just ran out. Nice. It's fine and handy. I keep leaving a couple seconds early because there's such thin margins in this game right now that we need to be out as soon as possible, and we have healing from uh, Boobas. Like I, if we don't come out in time, we don't get this, so we need to get here quick. I know obviously we can't pick up the buff, but the, the gold needs to be for running matters. So we need to finish this starter right because he's full build, right? Oh no, he's one item short. Sure. Like, we need to get in any advantageous state that we can. We'll hit him with some good poke. He doesn't have much healing, so. Big thing. Uh, it's obviously super annoying he's playing with that gem. It just keeps us so far out of the loop. And. I can alt out. We shouldn't die, I don't think. Damn, that's too bad. I didn't think his beads was up. It's too bad. Go get Phoenix now at this point. Um, maybe I sell. I should sell this for way late, actually. It's not all about the amount of damage I can do. It's it's the ability to not be able to hit him because you smack him from the mouth. He doesn't have healing, so I think we'll play just the play here. And he obviously has enough minions that he does Phoenix. How do I catch up at this point? I think this one would have be huge because that slow is just not allowing us to auto attack him. And when we auto attack him, we hit him for 250. So we just need to get into his face and auto attack. Uh, Bolden is coming up. I don't think he can do that because I'll be able to get to Obviously, fire minions will be coming down, but. Excuse me. I should be able to clear this pretty quickly if he's not here. The, the noise that I heard was Mindy spawning in, right? I was a little bit worried because I was like, what the heck is that noise? But I'm pretty sure it was Mindy's. I think if I use this at all. Yeah, and he's got mana consumers. Oh, screw. I think I have to just continually take this fight. I don't think there's any way I escape. He's so slowing. Wait, his pathing is so bad. He's not allowing me to get out. That was terrible. Why was his pathing so bad? Look at how quick he is. And look how slow he makes me. Come on. Yeah, so he's that mannequin's finish. He does so much damage at this point. We'll just three that while we walk by. Crap, he does so much damage. Get off me, Titan. Now ah, we're dead. He's cracking again. Damn, let's get some good. He's more like almost good. And uh, this matchup really stunk. I thought this matchup was going to be good, but that burst is insane. And that gem is really good. Damn. 